Now, a lot of programming languages and a lot of people who come from a shell or script background or bash background or a lot of programming languages like that have compiler built-in support, such as Java, will encourage exception-based handling. You'll see it a lot when you have object-oriented programmers going to Python. And they really embrace the concept of raising errors. And then either the program crashes internally or you wrap a lot of exception handling on it to see what type of error it was. So let me show you a basic example of how you would handle that using that philosophy, which I don't agree with, but I'm gonna teach you how to do it. So we're gonna say, get weapon damage. So this function is gonna take a weapon and basically tell you what the damage is for it. So if the weapon is a, let's say, a dagger, then it's gonna return four. Else if weapon is a club, then it's six. And else, I don't know. I'm not gonna return anything because it's broken, right? So we're gonna say error unknown weapon. And we'll concatenate the weapon onto it and give it a little space so it's formatted nicely, okay? And so what's gonna happen is you're gonna say success and then you're gonna say data or error. So we're gonna call the weapon damage using our P call and we're gonna give it a club. And we print out success. It's gonna be true for the club because we know what that is. And the data or error here is gonna be four. Right, and we're gonna print it out. But what happens when we get an unknown error there? Well, you need to check. So you write things like if success, then weapon damage is, and we'll put the data or error. And this is, again, the importance of an else because not everything's always true. So we'll say print failed to get damage because of an unknown weapon type. And we'll just leave it at that. If you want to, we could actually print out the error by itself so you can have the ability to click and see a little bit more information. It'll the print's pretty good about formatting errors for us. So now when we print it out, it's gonna print out the weapon damage, and that's good, six. But if we give it some unknown weapon, such as a, let's say, chakram, and we hit run, you can see it failed to get the damage because of an unknown weapon type, and then it printed out the error. But notice, our code didn't stop and break. We handled the error, and we just printed an error message to say, look, we can't really get the damage right now, we don't know. And if you wanted to, let's say this was another function, right? This was what we call safe get weapon damage, right? It's safe because it won't ever blow up. So you can pass a weapon. And if it's safe, then we'll go ahead and return this. Let me go ahead and tab all this over, make sure it's formatted correctly. At the end, at the end. And so we'll go ahead and return it. But if it's not safe, and we get an error back, we'll just return zero because we have no idea what the damage is. So you'll still get logs, you'll see your code, so you're not gonna swallow the error. Swallowing the error is when you remove all print statements and you just ignore it. So this would actually do nothing. We still wanna be aware of errors happening in the code. Swallowing errors or basically not printing when it happens using a p-call is a horrible, horrible anti-pattern or bad practice. So we're gonna at least log it but it's not gonna break our game. We'll just say, look, it does that weapon's not implemented yet, it does zero damage, we don't really know, and it's okay. So now if I call get safe weapon damage, and I pass in a club, it'll work fine, but if I print something like a cow, I use a cow as a weapon, that's not implemented yet. And we'll pass the weapon as a parameter here. Okay, so now when we run as a club and a cow, you can see the first one works fine. It gives you a six back. The second has errors and logs it, but at least the code still works. So that's how you can use error handling to keep your code working, provide some default values, but still log it just to make sure you're aware of what's going on.